Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we're joining EDM International and United Power in Brighton, Colorado to demonstrate the use of EDM's suite of phase tracker phase identification products. United Power has been a development partner with EDM for several years and we want to thank them for hosting us today. Utilities know that accurate phase identification is essential in order to optimize load balance and reduce losses. For high growth areas in particular, this is especially important. United Power uses a combination of EDM Phase ID tools, the original AP30 Phase Tracker and the new Phase Tracker Junior. Both devices provide Phase ID and Phase Angle on live circuits up to 500 kilovolts. Now we start as always with an on-site job safety briefing and now let's hear from Mark at United Power as to how phase tracker units are beneficial to the company. Mark Keith with United Power. I'm a journeyman lineman troubleshooter position. We've been uh, working with EDM for a number of years now in the development of the phase tracking junior and the AP30 devices. We use these significantly in the field to uh, verify our GIS mapping which helps us uh, figure out load and um, troubleshooting on outages and stuff like that to uh, better our system for our members. Okay, so we've got the AP Junior here and uh, we've started up. It's on the home screen. And the default setting on that should be single phase, but we're gonna check that by going into the settings, hit the mode button, confirm the box shows that it is on single phase push that and then we can go ahead and calibrate this on a known A phase in the substation. All right, we're verifying a known A phase calibrating the AP30 Junior on a 132 load side system. So what Mark is doing here is calibrating the unit to a known A phase on the low side of this substation transformer. We will be calibrating to United Power's base reference unit located inside the substation control house. Once the unit has been calibrated, it does not need to be recalibrated every time you use it. EDM also offers free use regional base reference units throughout the U.S. And once Mark is done with A phase, he will verify phase ID on the other two buses. Then we will do phasing on both live front and dead front transformers outside the substation. And for this, we will continue to use the AP Phase Tracker Junior, or so-called PUP. Now, here we are out front of the substation at the live front transformers. A phase. Now, you may notice a thing or two here. One is between each phase tracking, Jay pulls the Phase Tracker Junior away to clear the phase. Then he brings it back in. In this case, we'll get it will resolve to phase B. What the screen is reading is resolving. It's a little hard to see in the sun and we can't get that close to this live front box. B phase. The other point to make here is that it's common for underground cables to be mislabeled and this can cause confusion during outages. The Phase Tracker Junior is a fast, easy solution to verifying phase label accuracy. Next, we'll move on to dead front terminations just outside the substation. And for dead front elbows, we just need to pull the test caps to catch the E field. And we just need to get the junior close enough to the elbows without contact to get results. As you see here, they're testing A, B, and C phases, again, with the phase tracker junior or blue pup. We can also use the Phase Tracker Junior to check phasing on a distribution riser, as we're showing here. And again, we just need to get the Junior close enough to catch the E field. That's A phase. You heard Jay call out A phase there. Now he'll go over and call out C phase. He can read the face of the Face Tracker Junior from the ground. And that is C phase. And here we show the use of Face Tracker Junior's non contact sensing ability to phase an overhead circuit from the ground, in this case, the C phase. 
And then finally, in terms of the phase tracker junior, we're going to use its secondary meter mode and phase on a single phase meter. C phase. Next, we'll look at the AP30 phase tracker, which provides phase ID from a half a volt to 500 kilovolts, also referred to as any volt, storing each reading with time, date, longitude, latitude, phase, and phase angle. And here we're showing the contact points that let it go down to a half a volt. So here is the AP30 attached to an extended hot stick. Now let's start by calibrating the unit to a known A phase here on the substation bus work. Whenever you're ready. All right. Now we're calibrating to A phase on a 13-2 bus. And this yellow rectangular unit on the ground that we'll come back to is the AP-30 atomic version, which will maintain GPS timing even while working indoors or underground. It's reading. <coughs> Calibration successful. Read B and C phases to verify correct phase sequence. Going to B. C phase. Now, as we just said, we can bring the AP30 indoors and we do not have to reset the GPS timing. So now we're going to confirm our phasing on the back side of a relay in the substation house with one of the new AP30 with the new AnyVolt addition to it. Looking for A phase. One beep is A phase. Move into B phase. Two beeps verifies B phase. Move into C phase. And we wrap up by showing you AP30's low voltage sensing capability, in this case used to phase the recloser controls for a three-phase line. In this application, we ensure primary phasing matches recloser phasing. That way, if there's a fault, we'll be able to trust the recloser control phase targets. Plus, if there was low line voltage on one phase, we'll know it's reporting that correctly. For more information regarding EDM's phase tracker line, you can visit their website at edmlink.com. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching. <laughs>